Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. I've got what is arguably two of probably the best stage pianos in the world as far as pianos go. And you can argue with organs too. They both have excellent, excellent organs. But today we're just going to be looking at the piano section on each because both of them are very similar. Uh, similar meaning that Nord started the whole thing with you get on their website and you can download free new sounds, new piano sounds, free everything for life, as long as you have the product. And Dexabel took that same philosophy and they started doing that as well. So with both of them, they keep on proving with their pianos and adding more pianos. So when you're buying a Dexabel or a Nord, you get new updates of pianos for life of the product. It is so cool. And Nord, of course, you already know, they have a great reputation for good sounding pianos. And Dexabel also the same. There's people that argue either way in favor of which one is better. So let me start out with, uh, let's go to This is Nord's what they call the White Grand, which is actually a Steinway B. And on the Dexabel, this is what they call a USA Platinum. Now, Platinum are their top top of the line samples so this one's called the usa platinum um, usa probably a stein a steinway new york i'm guessing so this is my favorite, the White Grand on the Nord, and I really love the Steinway or the USA Platinum. So, okay, now there's others. And the Nord, here's another one. This is the Grand Imperial, which is, of course, is a Bosendorfer 290. Let's see what that sounds like. And Bosendorfer is known for the, uh, the low end. And let's try that here. Well, let's get another piano going here. The Japan Platinum. Now Japan, it could be anything. It's probably a Yamaha, I'm guessing. Let's see what the Japan sounds like now. Very impressive bass response on that one too. Okay, now another thing that I loved about the Nord is it's two piano engines here. So you could actually do a blend and create a different sounding piano by doing a blend and adjusting all the different uh, adjustments you have in the effects section and the reverb and all that. Now these samples I'm playing right now Maybe a little bit of reverb has been added so it doesn't sound so dry, but I'm not using any effects. I'm not using any EQ on either of these. Okay, so just the way it is. So when I go ahead and combine the White Grand and the Grand Imperial, I get something that sounds so much different. Listen to this. Love that. So let's summarize, uh, this was the White Grand and the Grand Imperial. And both together. Okay. Now 
What's cool about the Dexabel is you can do the same thing. You can make a blend and you can choose your two pianos. So we've already got the, the Platinum Japan in here. And we're gonna go for a second piano. Um, we can, tr yeah, let's try that. We've got both now. And combined here, even though it's two different pianos that we're using on each. Now, probably the advantage with the piano, we're only talking about piano on each, probably the advantage with the Nord is you've got all these effects available to you when you choose a piano. And not only that, if you're blending two pianos, each one of the pianos has all the effects available to it separately, distinctly, individually from the other piano. <laughs> so you've got Mod, mod 1, Mod 2, which are basically your uh, stomp box or rompler effects, uh, EQ, amp simulation, uh, delay, all kinds of delays here, including a new thing that they call pump. Um, the reverb, extensive reverb section here as well, and a compressor. So you can have one from each of these categories assigned at the same time to piano one, and then when you do piano two, you can choose a whole different set of up to all of these for that, completely independent of the other. On the Dexabel, same kind of thing, but you're limited to three effects per part. So for piano one, you can choose up to three effects, and for piano two, the same kind of thing. So that's the differences here. The Nord is notorious for being an on-the-fly instrument. Very little, if any, menus. So whatever you want to do, it's easily adjustable on the fly. You'll get used to these knobs and buttons and sliders and all that kind of stuff. With the Dexabel, choosing effects, unless the three effects that you're choosing is already in there, you'll need to go to a menu to choose what three or other effects that you want to use per part. Reverb, like I said, very easy to control on the Nord, very easy to control on the Dexabel as well. Check this out. Real easy to do on the fly and adjust it exactly the way you want to. Same with the Nord. So these two pianos, I love them. You decide which pianos sound better. And again, <laughs> you are not stuck with the pianos that these come with like you are in most other instruments. You can download these. And furthermore, Dexabel also supports Sound Font 2 or SF2 files. So you can load those on the here too. And you can make your own sounds using um, an editor for sound font files, make your own. Same thing with the Nord, it doesn't support anything but Nord format, but it also has uh, an, a sound editor that you can use to edit and create sounds for yourself and load them on here. So both of these really cool. And the added benefit of them both being very tour design, tour oriented metal cabinets on each wood side panels. Hope this has helped you out. Piano Man Chuck. Peace out. Thanks for watching.